Hey Nathan, it's Wednesday, March 11th, and I just want to thank everyone again for all of your support during all that weird AdSense stuff. Um, I'm really glad we're just back right on track, and thank you for sticking with us through it all. So a couple of nights ago, we were hanging out with our friend John D, and somehow the conversation got to Steve Buscemi, which led us to talking about chameleon vision. Sorry, Steve. That chameleon looks so skeptical. <laughs> Anyway, chameleon eyes are super interesting, so today I decided to do a Why Is It Wednesday on why are chameleon eyes so effing crazy? And how come we don't have that kind of control? The ability to control each eye independently is called monocular vision, and it's more typical in animals that are prey. Think about an antelope as compared to a cheetah. The antelope's eyes are on the sides of its head, while the cheetah's eyes face forward. For the chameleon and the antelope, monocular vision allows for a greater field of view. Chameleon eyes are also raised off the head, which gives them that crazy bug-eyed look. This allows them to scan their entire surroundings with panoramic sight. Their giant eyeballs are protected by fused eyelids, which is why their visible eye looks so small. But why would the chameleon benefit from being able to see from each eye independently and all around them? The answer is pretty obvious. To stay alive. Most chameleons inhabit trees, which makes their environment three-dimensional. To be able to spot prey, predators, and even potential mates, <laughs> it's much more beneficial for chameleons to be able to see up, down, left, right, front, back, and not have to move since prey, predators, and poontang could be anywhere in the tree around them. I'm pretty sure that's the first time in my life I've ever said poontang. For example, it's helpful for a chameleon to be able to see, say, a snake kind of up into the right of it without having to move. Chameleons aren't very fast movers and their camouflage is much more beneficial when they stay still. Also, if the chameleon is looking for a yummy mantis to eat, it would be more successful at catching its dinner if it didn't have to move much. Yum 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 yum. Being able to focus only one eye on its prey lets the chameleon have the other eye available to keep track of its surroundings in case it itself is being watched. It's a tough life for a lizard. It's hot out here for a chameleon, trying to catch a bug but maybe getting eaten at the same time. Skeptical chameleon does not approve. <laughs> Okay, so how come humans can't go all chameleon-eyed? Well, I've been boasting the benefits of monocular vision, but binocular vision, the kind we have, has its benefits too. With the overlap of our, granted, smaller fields of vision comes a much greater depth perception. This would have helped our arboreal ancestors while swinging through the trees at high speeds and with great precision. It also would have helped us at getting food. It's much easier to snag prey with a heightened depth perception. Other theories include the nocturnality of early primates because forward-facing eyes catch a lot more light than side of the head eyes, or even the clutter of jungle leaves necessitating us to be able to focus on things past them. I would believe it if the characteristic of each of these hypotheses had a hand in our success with eyes facing forward. Our binocular vision, therefore, means that we would have no reason to move each eye independently. With practice, a person could just look at Mamrie Hart, but it would be kind of dizzying and painful and not always practical unless your memory heart. In short, chameleons have wonky eyes because natural selection helped them to, and I think that's pretty neat. Yay, science! And Nathan, we'll see you on Friday. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button and leave a comment below on something that you would like us to cover on a future Why Is It Wednesday. And while you're down there, go ahead and click subscribe.